Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Superstar Ultra. In this episode, we're gonna take on the arena and see how well it goes. Why can't people stop fighting? When the pink terror raises his fist, even the strong tremble in fear. Every boss you fought is here. Think you can take them all? Well, we're certainly gonna try. I really like the music for the for the arena right there. Very nice. And the boxing glove. Get ready to fight. That's what we're playing for. We're playing for that trophy. A very nice looking trophy. As you can see, Kirby was ready to fight it with the fighter ability. The way the arena works is we're going to face every single boss we've fought so far. The bosses are randomized except for the very last boss. I think that's... I think that's right. One or two... Other ones may not be randomized either. I'm a little rusty on that. But you can uh, play for time, best time, or just try to get through it. You have every ability here at your disposal, but you're only going to get to choose once. Just keep that in mind. And you'll see why that is. However, in the spirit of the arena and the opening scene we're gonna take this on as fighter Kirby at least for now and our first opponent will be the main cannon number two from Revenge of Meta Knight jump on the web star when you're ready as you can see you have no ah, that was poor <laughs> uh, the music will always be this it's like the arena theme You have no lives, you're just trying to get through all the fights. There's one. Left 18. Next we're gonna be facing Dyna Blade. Now, every time you beat the you beat a boss in the arena, you get this. You have five M tomatoes, those will not come back. So use them wisely. You can see the arena in the background. This is kind of the rest area. You'll always have two abilities to choose from, and they're random, so you don't know what you're going to get. You can change abilities here if you want to, or just stick with what you have. Like I said, no lives, and the only way you're getting health back is the M Tomatoes. Whenever you're ready for the next fight, jump onto the Warp Star, and it'll take you there. So, it's a really long boss gauntlet, except with healing items. Usually, boss gauntlets, you don't get to heal at all. So, it's like a modified boss gauntlet. I don't remember there being five M Tomatoes in the original Kirby Superstar. There might have been, and I'm just not, not remembering that correctly. But in Kirby Superstar, it's set up the same way. It'll tell you who you're fighting next. So, the second fight will be against Dino Blade. Let's go. Now, you don't have to take an ability. You can fight the bosses without an ability. Ah, got it there. This is where knowing the boss's moves are going to really pay off, because you're going to be trying to avoid damage. That's two. Here, you can see it's bonkers up there. Oh, there's the fighter ability again. Mid-boss, All-Stars 1. We're going to be facing three mid-bosses, back to back to back. And this counts as one fight. 
Let's go! I like that you face them here in this arena. This arena looking place. It fits. There we go, that's two. And last should be Bugsy. Okay, for our fourth fight, we're going to be facing the Galactic Nova Nucleus. That's right, they even bring this fight into here. Not a hard fight, if you remember from Milky Way Wishes. Should be one or two left. Looks like two. You can see them in the background. The ones that aren't... Uh, the ones that aren't destroyed yet. There we go. Not too hard. Lolo and La 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 is next. I want to say in Kirby Superstar, there was only uh, three M tomatoes, not five. This will really put your skills to the test. How well do you know your bosses? The Reactor. This could be one of the trickier ones. To fight. Remember the reactor from uh, Revenge of Meta Knight. You have to have the laser hit. Come on. There's a, there we go. It's two. Fire right there. Got it. Uh, next, probably my favorite boss in this in this game, the computer virus. It's just a fun boss. Now, the computer virus is actually a little more dangerous in the arena than normal, because if you block, you do take a little bit of damage. Ah, uh, magician gets the first right. Ah, cast a guard spell. That's fine. Observe the HP. I think I took a little bit from the from the uh, fire spell. You can really tell if he casts the ice spell. Not so much with the regular attacks. There goes the magician. Next, evil knight. See, you can see that even though I guarded, Kirby took a little bit of damage. That can add up in the arena. Oh, watch out. <laughs> you don't want to accidentally change your ability. Remember, in this fight, you do have a chance to change your abilities. Let's see how well the Vulcan jab works. I don't think it works that well. Oh, uh, no, it didn't work that well. <laughs> and there we go. Last one, we got the Great Dragon again. Or, not so great dragon, but he'll prove to be more of a match with Fighter. Fighter isn't too great against the computer virus. 
petrifies itself. We didn't see that. That's his guard move. Fighter doesn't do too well against the computer virus. The attacks are slow. So you only get a few hits. So I'll take four. Well, more than that now. <laughs> There we go. Keep doing that attack. <laughs> okay with that. You can guard the, the stars and not take any damage. This, however, you will take damage. Ow. Ow. AD 60. Time this right, you might be able to get. No. Maybe I'm just being a little slow with it. But you're probably gonna get just two hits. But there's computer virus. Unfortunately, we don't level up. He doesn't give any XP. <laughs> I like the pictures on the on the uh, the right screen with the number fight. This is the eighth fight. In the picture, you could see <laughs> Kirby <laughs> just barely dodging the the hammer from King DDD. That's that's cool. Those little pictures, of course, those weren't in uh, Kirby Superstar. You did have the next screen, and you could see the next on the left screen, and you could see the face of the opponent you would face next. Let's keep going. Get on the other side. With the ability, this is pretty simple because you can stun DDD out of all of his attacks. <laughs> Mid boss All Stars 2 will be our ninth fight. Looks like we'll have Iron Man, uh, Poppy Brother Senior, Mr. Frosty, and Junko. Is that. I always forget the. Uh, that person's name. There's one. Now, as you can see, they split the HP between themselves, which uh, is in your favor, because <laughs> that means it doesn't take a lot of hits to get rid of each one. And because they take a little bit to get into their attack pattern, you can get a few free hits. Where'd you go? Did you walk all the... <laughs> Almost hit me there. Last one. There we go. Yay for Smash Punch. Ah, Meta Knight will be our 10th fight. Uh, I'm not very good against Meta Knight, <laughs> if you remember from the uh, Revenge of Meta Knight fight. So I will take an M Tomato here. And yes, you do have to fight him with the sword ability. I'm being much more careful here than than in the uh, previous. In the previous fight. Ah. Oh, come on. That one's really hard to dodge. You have to get behind him. Now, the thing is, after you do the Meta Knight fight, I don't think it's always at 10, it might be, but you took the sword, so you have the sword ability. Oh, this didn't happen in Kirby Superstar, uh, the, the original. Look, there's a, a tomato here. I'll go ahead and grab that. That's nice. That's very generous of them. All you got was the M tomatoes. 
Like I said, I think there were just three. I don't think there were five. Uh, anyway, next is Fatty Well, another boss I'm not too great against. <laughs> uh, wow. Sword, bomb, or cutter. Um, I'm gonna take cutter because at least with cutter I can have a ranged attack and try to stay away. Remember, you want to try to not take damage in this in this fight. <laughs> and there I go taking damage. That's the. Because you you have limited healing, that's the number one goal. So I like ranged attacks. Is is my choice. Get out of the way, Kirby. There we go. Phew. Bye. Ah, and then the tomato's gone forever. Got it. Uh, next is Wham Bam Rock. Hey, fighter's back. So let's take it. And... Hmm. Let's be safe and take an M Tomato. Those are really the two bosses to me that get me really well is Meta Knight and and Fatty Well. Dodge the rocks. Oh, come on. Fighter's not the best ability here to hit with. I'll take that back, thank you. Gee, I'm glad I took that M tomato. Jeez. That could have gone better. Next is Waddle D. That's right. You face Waddle D. Another M tomato. Hi, Waddle D. Yay. <laughs> Not too hard, honestly. Uh, next, we have Twin Woods. And two. Heavy Lobster. Let's go ahead. Five left. Now, the cool thing about the arena is... Ow. You can test yourself in different ways. You can try not to use any M tomatoes. You can try different abilities. You can try uh, forcing yourself to change abilities every time. Or go through the entire thing without an ability. The arena has a lot of replay value if you just switch it up. Wispy Woods is our 16th fight.
And we'll Rising Break. 17th is Cracko. Now remember, these are randomized. At least they were in uh, Kirby Superstar. I believe they're randomized here as well. Oh yeah, we'll just fight Cracko. And with Fighter, not a very hard match. The Smash Punch and Spin Kick have a better range than you think. They do have quite a bit of range on them. A uh, Chameleon Arm. We'll take one of the tomatoes. Far enough back. There we go. Goodbye. One left. The last fight you will always have in the arena is against Marks. So, if you do have an empty tomato left, no point in saving it. Go ahead and grab it. Make sure you're at full health. Take an ability you want. We're going to stick with Fighter. And take on Marks. just in case. I don't remember where all of them landed. Okay. Keep running. There we go. And now we can hit you from behind. Whoa, hi! Ah! Rising break! That's a fitting way to beat you. There we go! <laughs> Congratulations, Kirby! Well done! The champion of the arena, and well deserved. Done mostly with the fighter ability. <laughs> Now you can always replay to try to beat your best time, like I said, try out different moves, go through without moves, try to not use as many M tomatoes, and a lot of replay replay value in the arena, which is a lot of fun. Uh, this was the last mode in Kirby Superstar, by the way, was the arena. Once you beat the arena, that was the pinnacle. You can now play Helper to Hero once beating the arena. Special announcement, you can now play the Nostalgic Megaton Punch. Awesome. Megaton Punch, this is one of the uh, former mini-games of Kirby Superstar. And here, you, it was unlocked right from the start. Here, you didn't have it in Ultra. Uh, Megaton Punch is a very fun sub-game, uh, mini-game, you could say. Whereas, these three sub-games are played with the stylus. You didn't have a stylus for the SNES, of course. So you had Megaton Punch, and you can see there's another pin to the right of it. So maybe something else goes there. Uh, very fun. I'll be doing Megaton Punch along with the other sub-games at the end. But that's the arena, and like I said... Once you beat the arena in Kirby Superstar, that was the pinnacle. That was the hardest thing. Here, we still have more to do in Ultra. We have Meta Nightmare Ultra and Helper to Hero. Uh, two very fun modes that play very differently than the all the other game modes we've played so far. So that's it for this episode. I hope you really enjoyed the arena. And there's one other little side thing I'd like to do. Uh, when I'm doing all the sub-games at the end, 
I'd like to do a few bonus videos of the arena. Uh, one or two, maybe more. We'll see how it goes. I want you, yes, you, that's watching the video, to leave a comment and let me know what ability you would like me to go through the arena. Or, if you have some other stipulation, like you would like to see me try to go through it without an ability. <laughs> that, that'll be probably really difficult. I don't know if I could do that. But if you want me to try, I'll, I'll give it one shot. Choose an ability, I'll give it a shot. It just is a fun way to involve you, the viewer. Something that, when I can, this is a very good opportunity to do that. I'd like to. So, let me know in the comments if there's, cho choose one ability or, or a stipulation of some kind. And, I guess I'll call them bonus videos at the end. After the entire project is over. After I've done the sub games and everything else. I'll try to go through the arena with whatever you suggest now whenever it comes to Meta Knight and I grab the sword I'll try to get back to your ability as quickly as possible so if it pops up I'll take it if not uh, let me know also what you would like me to do because whenever Meta Knight pops up I have to take the sword if you would like me to keep the sword or to randomize at that point or you know, be creative. Just let me know in the comments. And we'll have some fun with it at the end of this this LP. We'll, we'll have some fun with it. I think it'll be a lot of fun. If you have fun, you'll get to uh, get involved. And that's something that I think it can be really neat. So again, just leave the comments on this video, by the way. <laughs> if you throw them in a whole bunch of different videos, I may not find them. Of course, <laughs> I guess I might as well say this too. If this LP is finished and complete, uh, you probably don't want to leave a comment about what you would like me to play because the LP's over. <laughs> but as long as this LP is, is still going on, leave a comment and let me know what you would like to see me try for the arena. Anyway, with that, next time we're going to take on Meta Nightmare Ultra. So, until then, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. And cheer on Kirby with his new championship trophy. He earned it. And until the next episode, I'm Cinder89. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.